Ever wondered which family is the richest in the world, leaving the British royal family, the wealthy Arabs and even Elon Musk in the dust? Well hold on tight because the Rothschilds are here to claim their throne as the ultimate symbol of wealth. With a net worth of over $2 trillion and an annual income of $390 billion, the Rothschilds live in extreme luxury. Imagine a world where 1,800 luxury mansions and a fleet of 100 private jets are only essentials. It's not a fantasy, it's the reality of a family that has made their wealth over centuries. But exactly how rich are they? Well, their 1,800 mansions are worth over $36 billion. Can you imagine how incredible their homes must be but that's not all in the world of riches luxury yachts are a must-have and the Rothschilds are no exception they have 50 luxurious yachts and multiple private jets they sure know how to enjoy their wealth in style Nat Rothschild from the younger generation owns the remarkable Planet Nine super yacht valued at an incredible $102 million. This stunning vessel was built in 2018 and stretches a whopping 240 feet long. It offers amazing features like a helipad, beach club and spa, all beautifully designed by top German interior designers with space for up to 16 guests and a crew of 26. It promises an unforgettable experience on the high seas. But what happens when the yacht isn't in use? The Rothschilds don't let it sit empty at a port. They seize every opportunity to earn extra millions. Nat Rothschild rents out the luxurious Planet 9 yacht for $725,000 per week. In the winter, the price drops to $650,000 per week. Many people rent it out to get a taste of the world of the super rich. Now let's talk about the Rothschilds' involvement in the wine world. Chateau Mouton Rothschild is their standout vineyard. It covers a massive 222 acres and is worth between 150 to 200 million dollars. And that's not even counting the value of the wine itself. A single bottle of Rothschild Carbonate and Sauvignon wines can cost an incredible $700. It's a treat reserved for the most rich wine enthusiasts. Now moving on to the breathtaking Waddiston Manor in Buckinghamshire, England. Well, Rothschilds are not just about money, they love living in style. Built in 1877 for Baron Ferdinand de Rothschild. This mansion is now valued at $250 million. It showcases stunning architecture and houses, an impressive collection of portraits and antique treasures. The property even has a museum that attracts a staggering 460,000 visitors each year. Inside, you'll find 25,000 antiques and artworks, including a writing desk made for Marie Antoinette and a gold bracelet gifted by Queen Victoria. Did you know that the Rothschilds not only own lots of properties but also many businesses worldwide? The Rothschilds handle a gigantic $100 billion fund dedicated to investing in global stock markets. They have a keen eye for the best opportunities. They invest in major stock exchanges like the New York, London and Tokyo Stock Exchange. It's fascinating to think about the influence they have in the finance world. Here's an interesting fact. One of the most popular rumors out there claims that the Rothschilds own a staggering 80% of the world's wealth. They have around 20 billion in US dollars, 6 billion in Japanese yen, and a staggering 33 billion in euros. They diversify their currency holdings to protect their wealth from changes in the global financial markets. The Rothschilds are really good at choosing stocks that do well. They've invested in big companies like Meta, Amazon, Apple, Starbucks, Visa, Bloomberg, Pfizer, JP Morgan, PepsiCo, and many more. Furthermore, the Rothschild family owns 25 banks and investment firms globally, making them significant players in finance. Their English investment bank, NM Rothschild & Sons, assists with companies' accusations and mergers. Their financial holding company, Parry Orlean SA, grants them even more influence. They also possess Rabobank Bank Group, the largest private bank in the Netherlands. Their most profitable business, Agora Oil & Gas, was bought by Lord Rothschild for an incredible $370 million. Today, it's worth $1.4 billion. Art is also important to the Rothschild family like many wealthy Europeans, they have an extensive art collection worth an astonishing $2 billion. Queen Victoria admired their royal artworks, and even Adolf Hitler couldn't resist their charm, taking several paintings during World War II. One famous member, Jacob Rothschild, created the Rothschild Investment Trust called RIT Capital Partners. 
They manage the family's banking assets in England from their fancy headquarters in the Spencer building, which is worth $42 million. One important investment they have is in the Rio Tinto Mining Corporation, which is the second largest metal mining company in the world. They have businesses in many countries like Canada, America, Africa, Italy, China, and Australia. All these ventures together are worth an incredible $103 billion. They invest in important resources like oil, gas and metals that help the world progress and make the economy strong. But did you know that the Rothschilds also have a lot of influence in politics? They own two big mining companies that give them even more power. For example, Nathaniel Rothschild's $40 million investment in Glencore, a mining company, has made them a lot of money. Now, Glencore is worth a mind blowing of $127.5 billion. Their mining companies in Australia also make them the biggest employers in the country. Now the question is, with all their fortunes, does the Rothschild family give back? Their commitment to making a difference goes beyond than just giving money. They actively involve themselves in a wide range of charitable projects. They support dental clinics, free public libraries, retirement homes, orphanages, scholarships, hospitals, and more. In Frankfurt alone, they had around 30 charitable foundations, while Vienna had impressive initiatives like a municipal theater and support for struggling photographers. Education is a top priority for them. They fund educational initiatives and help young people succeed. They've supported free schools in London's East End and created social housing organisations like the 4% Industrial Dwellings Company Limited. In London and Paris, they've established the Rothschilds Foundation, making education and housing accessible to many. But wait, there's more. The Rothschild family now focuses on empowering disadvantaged communities in the Middle East and Africa. They're dedicated to providing education, creating jobs and fostering economic development. Their commitment to making a positive impact in the world knows no bounds. So how did the Rothschilds become so rich? It all started with Mayor Amschel Rothschild in Frankfurt during the 18th century. He built up their wealth by investing in big companies like Shell Oil and De Beers. They were really good at predicting how things would change and their global network helped them dominate the world of finance. One of their clever tactics was to invest in struggling economies. They would buy assets when the prices were low and then sell them for big profit when the economy improved. This showed their ability to see ahead and make good financial decisions. Mayor Amschel Rothschild's five sons spread their influence in Europe. Nathan Rothschild, the third son, started a textile business in Manchester in 1798. Later, he opened a bank called NM Rothschild in 1810. The bank helped the British government during tough times like the Napoleonic Wars. In 2019, NM Rothschild and sons made a lot of money with two point three billion dollars in revenue and eighty three and a half million dollars in managed assets. Nathan did more than just banking. He co-founded the Alliance Assurance Company in 1824. He also got rights to valuable mercury mines in Spain, which made him a lot of money from gold and silver. From 1852, his bank started refining precious metals for important places like the Royal Mint and the Bank of England. Nathan was also good at investing in real estate. He bought Gunnersbury Park going from $70,000 to $132 million over 100 years. Years. Nathan's smart choices and long-term plans clearly paid off. The Rothschilds maintain their wealth by strategically marrying within their family and later marrying into other wealthy families like the Hiltons and the Goldsmiths. James Rothschild's marriage to Nikki Hilton, Paris Hilton's sister, brought a touch of celebrity to the family. David Rothschild, an environmental activist, made headlines by sailing across the Pacific Ocean in a catamaran made from recycled plastic bottles. Their investments had a significant impact on various industries, shaping society as we know it. They played important roles in transformative projects like the Suez Canal and the Union Pacific Railroad, while also influencing communication transportation and energy networks. Upon passing of the wealthiest Rothschild, the Baron de Rothschild, his net worth was estimated at $1.1 billion by Forbes. Jacob Rothschild, the fourth Baron Rothschild, retired as an investment banker with a net worth of $1 billion. With that said, thank you for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more. And if you found this content helpful, give the video a like and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.